One thing that I felt kind of boxed in lately is digital drawing. I love my iPad Pro and Apple Pencil, but I've come to rely on it just a little too much to the point where just drawing with a good old fashioned piece of paper and pencil totally freaks me out. The whole time I'm like, oh, I can't hit Command Z. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to waste all these pieces of paper. This is gonna take three, three times longer. Like how am I gonna have time for this and social media and client onboarding and my head explodes. So I thought I would break outside of my comfort zone just a little bit and utilize something that has just been in my house sitting unused for a long time. And that's my living room chalkboard. So today you guys get to see the behind the scenes of me creating a brand new chalk piece after not having done chalk for months, couple months, many months, more than a few months, like a year. All right, enough, enough chit chat. Let's get down to the main event. <laughs> have been getting too reliant on technology. <laughs> I am addicted to the command Z and that way I could do as many undos as possible. And I have to be honest with you, I have been afraid of drawing traditionally and I don't like being afraid of anything. So I decided this week to do something a little bit different. And I have this amazing chalkboard in my living room that I am a little grossed out to say and embarrassed that I haven't been drawing on it that much lately to the point where my boyfriend has actually been drawing on it more than I have. <laughs> But enough about me. Let's get into the process of making my own chalkboard mural in my living room. Step one, I was ready to get to work and I needed to figure out what the hell I was going to put on this chalkboard piece in the first place. After thinking about it for a while, the most obvious thing had to be, it's time to get your shit together. I feel like no matter how old we get, how much experience we have, we always have a hard time of just perfectly putting and mashing together our personal and professional lives in the same life. <laughs> so I thought this was something that would resonate with not only me <laughs> as a reminder that lives are never perfect and you always gotta work at it little by little to get to what you want out of this whole living existence thing. And also as a reminder for you guys that it's never too late. When I was creating this piece, it really only took about 10, 15 minutes to do. And I really tried to make this sketch as rough as possible. So that way I wasn't relying so much on reference or computers, but really just my own hands and eyes and eraser and chalk <laughs> to get this thing done. I will say that I did make this process a little easier on myself by using a projector to cast the image I had drawn to blow up onto the screen. So that way it would just take a lot less longer. But hey, if you got a projector, you might as well use it. This is the tiny artograph that I got, that I use guys. He's super tiny. He's got all of the imports that you need, HDMI. You can connect him really easily to your MacBook. I've even used my iPad before. It only gets a little bit warm when you use it and he's got a pretty nice battery life, so you can take him on the go. And also, look how cute he is! When I was going ahead and tracing my image onto the chalkboard, I tried to work pretty, pretty quickly. That way, all of my lines be pretty roughed in, just so that way I could just get to work quicker. I hate tracing stuff, even when I'm tracing my own stuff, it just makes me feel icky. And I wanna get back to the OG of just drawing to my own whimsy and projectors get hot and their batteries only last so long. The projector's off, I'm ready to really officially get this party all going. So that way I could go ahead and just fill in each of my letters, really making sure that I'm creating an even pattern of texture with every swipe of my hand up and down the letters, really figuring out what kind of touch and pressure I need to apply to get that kind of even weight with this piece and Everything's looking really good. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing extra hard against each one of these lines to really create more of like a chiseled edge and then tapering off with little flicks in my letter. So that way, just to give it a little bit more texture, even already has that beautiful, super grungy texture already from the chalk.
there's definitely a a lot of getting really close and nitty gritty to this to the board and being this close away from it and then having to back all the way up at the, in the edge of the room to make sure it's all fitting together. You can get lost in those crazy details, but for chalk installations, it's much more important about how it looks from a distance. then I was done. I backed up, I looked at the mural, but still I felt like there was something missing. It was only words. And so I decided to add a little bit of illustration at the last minute. I tried to record this process, but then my camera battery died. So apologies in advance, but hey, look at the final reveal. Doesn't it look amazing? I decided to add just some random wonky shapes because uh, shit emojis would have been a little much. Thank you guys for sticking with me and letting me explain my chalk installation process in my living room to you guys. I could definitely use your help for the next one though. Do you have any ideas for me? Any favorite phrases, weird illustration doodles, ideas that we could put on this sucker? Because I'm gonna pick the best one and we're gonna do a motherfucking live stream so you guys can watch everything in action. As always, if you guys are enjoying this content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.